This test server is full of new changes to preview before they go live for the Season 10 update. And there's so much here I feel like I have to cover this and let you know what you could be seeing at the start of the new season. First up is the new weapon, the fan. The fan is the dagger's congeneric counterpart, sharing most basic light attack properties, including the crouch attacks. The soul break attack is really cool, it sends an air wall at the enemy that knocks them up, and it can't be parried because it's not a blue focus attack. The horizontal and vertical charge focus attacks are both two hit range attacks that don't have any true follow ups, but the normal horizontal guarantees a crouch vertical and this is the most optimal combo I've found so far. The fan shares two soul jades with the dagger, the first being the short handle weapon sap which changes the fan's parry in the same way it changes the daggers. You can confirm extra damage off of the fan sap parry. The other jade it shares is Nether Step, so you can chain multiple quick dashes, formerly known as dagger dashes. The fan has Soul Shatter, which changes the Soul Break into a very fast, blue focus attack. This quick attack can be confirmed in different ways and seems pretty tough to parry on reaction. Hopefully, it won't be too oppressive in high ping hands, but we'll have to see when it comes out. Next is Windy Trinity, changing the charge horizontal to this weird multi-fan ranged attack which does really good damage, but has a very narrow vertical hitbox and cannot be confirmed on uppercut grapple. I think this will still probably be a decent jade when it comes to the live version. The fan's gold soul jade is really awesome, Wild Wind Sprout. This one changes the charge vertical, making it send out two tornadoes that knock your opponent up and away while dealing considerable damage. You can confirm this attack on Uppercut Grapple, and I have a feeling this one will be very strong. The last Fan Jade leads us into our next section, where a new mechanic is introduced to Soul Jades. Dual Circles is a consumable Soul Jade that alters the fan's horizontal chain ender, making it heal for 100% of the damage dealt from the 3 hit attack. If the attack lands, even just one of the three hits, a charge will be consumed. Once all charges are consumed, the Jade loses its enhancement abilities and reverts to a normal blue Soul Jade of the stat it has. Here are all the Jades in the test server that are now consumable with how many charges they have. There are two new consumable ones here as well. The first is Explosive Armor, a two-charge jade that makes a knockback effect when your armor is broken. The second is Follow the Recall, giving you a blue weapon and armor when you rebirth at a soul altar, and it only has one charge. That's not all, because next we have another new type of soul jade, the Upgradable Soul Jades. Upgradable Soul Jades will have a specific task that can be completed to unlock more power from the jade. Some of these will give an increase to the power of the original ability, but some existing soul jades have been combined to be upgradable soul jades. These combined jades will essentially give you the abilities of two soul jades in one slot. Here are all the jades in the test server that are now upgradable, and what you have to do to unlock the different upgrades. I think these soul jade changes are very interesting and it does a couple of things for the balance of the game. Now it will be easier to have multiple effects on any given weapon since there are jades that will basically unlock a second jade within the same slot. It also cuts down on the total number of soul jades in the game, giving players a better chance of finding a particular jade that they want since the loot pool will be that much smaller. A lot of the consumable jades got significant buffs from their original versions. Now they all either heal, silence, burn, or give buffs and I think they'll be extremely useful and balanced by their limited usage. Overall, this seems to be a healthy change for the state of Soul Jades in the game, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, you can do so right here on YouTube with the join button below, and of course, that would be greatly appreciated, but a like and subscribe is definitely good enough. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.